So, on this fifth Wednesday of Lent, Father Pierre wants to share with his brother and sister glowworms one basic truth, which is spilt out dramatically in today's first reading from the book of Daniel, in the third chapter. This is the essential quality we must all develop, the need we have to sense, see, feel, and experience the presence of God, Father, Son, and Spirit. The presence of our loving God in the world where we live and from which our life in every sphere of our doing finds the source and meaning. Never forget, firstly, glowworm, glow light on a grass blade, and secondly, there is always lives freshness of deep down things. Let us pray. Great, good and loving God, Father, Son and Spirit, we thank you with deep gratitude for your creation, our world, which we so often take for granted. In all the works of your hands, may we find the traces of your love for us. In life's beauty, may we learn of our need to discover you and become strong enough to say yes when you call us to action. Amen. So be it, and so will it be. Have you read Pope Francis's encyclical letter entitled Laudato Si? On the, on the care of our common home. If not, I strongly recommend you do so as soon as possible. What and where is our common home? Well, it is our God's greatest actual action of creation. It is the world in which we live, the world which gives us life. It is the very first thing that Father, Son and Spirit did. And it is there in creation itself that we must find the presence of God. It is in the real world, in the world's marketplaces, that we must become active in our doing. This is where we will discover our living God, day in and day out. In the absence of this discovery, our Lenten season of action will become sterile. We all know from the book of Genesis that Adam and Eve heard the sound of God in the garden. What did they do? They hid themselves from him. He had given his creation into their care, things they had to do. They had not done them. They hid from him. Pope Francis writes, We human beings are on a wonderful pilgrimage, woven together by the love of God has for each of us, his creatures, and which also unites us in fond affection with Brother Sun, Sister Moon, Brother River, and Mother Earth. The Holy Father also writes that the Father is the loving foundation of all that exists. The Son united himself to this earth. The Spirit is intimately present at the very heart of the universe, inspiring and bringing new pathways. What a wonderful call to action the Pope gives us. In today's Gospel, St. John, chapter 8, verses 31 to 42, Jesus says, If you make my word your home, 
you will indeed be my disciples. You will learn the truth, and the truth will set you free. It is destructive of the truth if we hide ourselves when we hear the sounds and signs of God in the world and creation which surrounds us. We become inactive and we do nothing, or we do the wrong thing by hiding ourselves. We forget that glow worms must glow light and that what is within us will always live freshly of deep down things. As General Manley Hopkins puts it, the world is charged with the grandeur of God. It will flame out like shining from shook foil. Let us pray. And we pray, Amen. So be it. So would it be. We have said it, and now we must do it.